thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hi and welcome to my studio. Today we'll take a look at my bio art practice, how I look under the microscope to then paint. Before starting this video, here's a very big trypophobia warning. If you have trypophobia, I don't recommend you watching this video as it's full of tiny dots and holes. Hi, welcome back to this channel. I am Caro and today I will be sharing with you a bit of what goes behind filming under the microscope, looking at slides under my microscope and how I go from observing under the microscope to then painting it. I am currently working on my fungi painting, which is the one right behind me. And I've got a slide set with different type of fungi. Let's say this slide right here has penicillium. So first we will be looking at penicillium under the microscope. I will be shooting some video and some photographs from it and then I will be painting and adding some penicillium to my fungi painting right there. So yeah, let's get started. I hope you enjoyed today's video. The first thing I do is clean up my bio art station and get my computer, camera and microscope all synced together. Instead of using the microscope's ocular piece, I connect my DSLR camera to the microscope and the camera to my computer. In that way, I can film and shoot high quality nice pictures with a microscope while at the same time seeing through my computer screen instead of the eyepiece. I connect my camera body to an adapter and to a series of extension tubes onto the eyepiece of the scope and then connect the camera body with my computer. Now we're ready to go. Today I will be looking at some slides from my new beginners fungi slide set. We'll start with Morcella, one of my favorite mushrooms which I've only eaten once knowing it was legitimate morels. As I am still a newbie, it takes me a minute to get back into the flow of focusing the slight specimens quickly, but I am learning how to enjoy the process. It becomes like a treasure hunt of some sort. Now onto Rhizopus. And finally, let's take a look at penicillium. Even though the specimens are smashed in between two glasses, that doesn't make them completely flat. So it is fascinating to me to choose in between which of the thousand layers of this still 3D being I want to focus on today. I am currently using a 20x, 40x and 100x microscope objectives for my research and the type of microscope I use is a compound microscope. Once I finish my bio art session, I usually see all the footage I've collected and choose my favorites based on the most interesting looking as well as the composition of where it will go exactly on one of my paintings. 
here's my chosen image for the penicillium painting I will be working on. I pass the picture to my iPad and get all set up to start painting. This one will be part of the fungi imperfecti in my painting on the evolution of fungi. But before I start painting, let me share with you for a minute about Squarespace, who is the sponsor of today's video. This video is brought to you thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, my art portfolio, and online shop. You can present your work with Squarespace professional portfolio designs with beautiful customizable galleries and automatic image scaling to showcase your artwork in the best way. Connect your art portfolio and online shop with just one click. Thanks to their marketing tools and their on-point analytics, this platform helps you optimize your business while having a beautiful online presence. If you're ready to showcase your latest projects, make sure to head to squarespace.com to try them for free. And once you're ready to launch, use the code CAROAREVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's begin painting. First, I use a sketch based on the picture I took. I choose a round area from the picture that interests me and sketch it away. Once I finish, I start working on the outlines of each section of the painting and little by little, I'll start adding the layers. I use earth pigment watercolors for this. There is not much more to say about the painting process itself, as I believe it is very straightforward, apart from the fact that I love taking forever on each little specimen I add to my paintings. They all have infinite amount of detail in reality so I believe surrendering to seeing every teeny tiny color shade, shape, and shadow is an exquisite opportunity that we all get as creators. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was inspiring and it gave you a little glimpse of how my process of creating looks like. Thanks again for sharing your time with me and thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in starting a new website or buying a domain before it goes away, you can use the code CAROAREVALO to get a sweet discount. Uh, all the links you can find on my description box and if you like what you see here feel free to uh, feel free to subscribe to this channel I also have a patreon where I share exclusive videos updates first dips into my new artwork as well as exclusive physical rewards for patreons and what else um, I'm also on Instagram, on TikTok, on Mind, so feel free to check those out. All are linked on my description box. And I will see you on a video pretty soon. Bye, have a great rest of your day.